Hello everyone and welcome to this short and sweet technical analysis video. My name is Victor and I'm a coach here at Char Champions and today I want to cover two very important price targets that have been hit on Bitcoin and Twitter and then have a look at what we can expect next. So let's get into it. All right, let's get started with Bitcoin. You might be wondering, wait a minute, the price today is not 43,400. What's going on here? What is he showing us? Well, I'm using the replay feature here on TradingView to show you what we were looking at on April 7th when I did my last public YouTube video update. We were looking at this Gartley harmonic pattern, which worked out very, very nicely with a beautiful rejection off of this 47,000 region, 47, 48K. And now, of course, we want to know, well, what happened next? Let me refresh your memory. The primary or first major target for this Gartley harmonic pattern, which is a bearish pattern, trading it short from D, is the 618 from C to D. So let's see what happened next. There you go. Now we're up to speed. And this is now the live chart of the Bitcoin price action. As you can see, we continue to work our way down, finally hitting that 39K target very nicely. And then came the Easter weekend, where we have been pretty much spending the weekend ranging the past uh, four days approximately around this area with the legacy markets. In other words, the big stock exchanges closed on Friday and yesterday London was still closed. So everything came back online today. How nice is that, huh? Yesterday, we already had a very interesting move. Basically, we stopped out anybody that longed that first touch of 39,000 and put their stop loss right under that. These people got stopped out and then price reversed completely to start crossing the entire range here and now pushing higher. And now the big question, of course, what's next? We know how we got here. We know where we bounced off. And I'm going to show you even cooler stuff for the confluence of this bounce. Very simple. The Fib retracement from this low to this high. Bam, right there, 618. And you can even add an old monthly level, which was sitting right smack in the middle of it and was hit to the dollar, providing us in the past couple of days with a very nice almost 8% bounce. So very, very cool. But... What do we do now? Which level should we, paying, should we be paying attention to now? These are some of the fresh levels that I'm looking at and that I wanted to show you. We have created a fresh untapped daily level now at 39,670. That's supported the downside. Resistance to the upside, if we keep moving up, would be, for example, this untapped daily level at 42,750. If we were able to push through that, even higher, even through this daily level uh, as well here, we could even go all the way up to 46,583. However, there's another level down here, which is also very, very juicy and tasty. It's not just a daily level. It's also a weekly untapped level at 37.7. Is that still a possibility if we're moving up now? Well, today it doesn't seem very likely, but you need to be always prepared for all scenarios for all probabilities and just calculate where the strongest confluence is and where the highest probabilities are. So let's add some more stuff to these levels. The next thing we can add to the chart is a fib pool from this high to this low to find possible resistance levels. Here we have the 3 and 2 coming up as the first one, followed by the daily level that we already have on the chart and then the CC as well as the 786 up here. What we can also add is the fixed range tool to show us the volume in this area. Here, I've done a very big pool, including data from the beginning of December. So we have a few months worth of data in here, and we can see that this big red line in the middle, the point of control, is ahead. And it acts as resistance until we can flip it to support. So we have the point of control, the 382 and the daily level behind it 
all of them acting together as resistance. If we manage to travel through this area and start closing daily candles above it and then flipping it to support, that would be very bullish and would show that this move continues to have strength. The same thing applies when we reach this CC area, which in the past, as you can see, has already been significant resistance. And ultimately, we have the 786 with a value area high and yet another daily level behind it. So these are very nice areas of resistance that we might be able to work through in the coming days or perhaps a uh, coming week or two weeks and continue an upwards trajectory. If we are able to flip this last area of resistance here, that would be extremely strong and we can start looking at targets like this resistance area at 50K. What if we don't make it that far? What if we start rejecting somewhere? Well, that's exactly why we map out these levels like this to figure out where could we possibly turn around and head lower. And then you might ask, well, why would we head lower? This is looking great. I mean, this is pumping. We're going, baby. Yes, for now. But we have to see if this is enough to get us through these resistance areas. If not, then we can expect a sort of a pullback. And we do exactly the same process for the downside. This is an untapped daily level at 39.6. And we still have that very tasty weekly level untapped at 37.7. So what could happen next? we could reach one of these resistance areas and not be able to make it through and reject back, for example, to our daily level of support, or if no support is found there, go even lower to um, the next level of support. That's how you can dissect the chart and decide, okay, here is where I need to take profits, here is where I need to be defensive, and here is when I can get aggressive again. And now, as promised, and... As by popular demand, let's have a look at Twitter. And I don't mean the platform itself, I mean the chart and the stock price, of course. So we can already see that there's been some very interesting moves. Here, I've drawn a few levels for you. This top monthly resistance level, this bottom monthly support level at around 35K now, and this very interesting yearly level here in the middle that we rejected from. So first, we have this very impulsive move from March 2020 all the way to the all-time highs here in February 21 with a very strong pullback to, surprise, surprise, the 786 and then creating a monthly level of support. This move up has been pretty explosive and has given us approximately, well, almost 70% of an upwards uh, move in price. And now you might be thinking, wow, this is going to all-time highs again. Well, wait a second, let's have a look at what happened. Here we can see that this very impulsive move, we can even have a look on the weekly chart, this very impulsive move from this high pivot to this low pivot retraced perfectly to the 618 and yearly level confluence. This is a very strong confluence and it's not a surprise that we have pulled back in price almost 19%. So these are strong levels and strong confluences to pay attention to and then use them to possibly plan your trades. Let's say you were able to buy this stock down here. If you reach a massive level of resistance like this, you can, for example, take profits. No financial advice, do whatever you want. But these are the possibilities that you have with technical analysis. So what about now? What are we supposed to do with this? Well, same principle. Take the low take the high pivot, do a FIB retracement, and you can already see that you have a very nice CC level or CC area and the 786 down here. This would imply that price would need to retrace through this open gap, fill the gap and hit this area now as possible support or even lower at the untapped monthly level in 786, even better, to then possibly make a higher low and then continue upwards. Whether that happens or not, we'll have to see. I'm going to show you also the fixed range pull from the entire chart, which shows what the volume distribution is like since November 2013. And you can see this upper blue line here is the value area high. If we were to retrace down here to the CC area, that would be 
the value area high of the entire chart, meaning we could possibly flip it to support. Yet another argument for confluence. All right, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for tuning in. We've covered the price levels on Bitcoin. We've covered the price levels on the Twitter stock chart as well. If you like what you see, please let us know on the comment section. If you would like to see other stocks and other TA done, then please let us know as well. If you want to learn how to do this stuff on your own, to draw your own levels, to find your own confluences and find entries, take profit targets and just trade, then head on over to chartchampions.com where we teach you exactly this stuff and much, much more. So have a fantastic rest of the day. Take care and I'll see you on the next update. Bye-bye.